Welcome to the Cop Shop Podcast, our weekly compilation of police report oddities and curiosities, with host, Telegraph reporter, Joe Kovac, Jr. It was just past 7 o'clock in the morning when a man in downtown Macon noticed a guy who was, as a recent Bibb County Sheriff's report put it, quote, defecating in the alleyway. The alley was in the 500 block of Cherry Street Lane between Poplar and Cherry Streets. The guy reportedly relieving himself was wearing dark pants and a camouflage shirt. The man who spotted him told a sheriff's deputy that the unknown defecator had done the same thing before and that, quote, he continues to poop in the same location every day. Some business owners there had also reported seeing the guy going to the bathroom in the alley. He had even been captured on surveillance cameras several times, the sheriff's report said, quote, without ceasing. A sheriff's deputy watched the security video and recognized the suspect as, quote, a familiar homeless man. Another business owner in the area told the deputy that, on numerous occasions, he had washed down the alley after the man soiled it. The deputy later tracked down the 41-year-old suspect at the corner of 3rd and Mulberry Streets. There was no mention of whether the man explained himself. He was taken to jail on an indecent exposure charge. The silver Honda was apparently attacked, if one could call it that, under cover of darkness. The man who owns the 2004 Accord had parked it overnight at his house off Nisbet Drive in West Macon. The morning of October 18th, a Bibb County Sheriff's deputy looked into the matter when the man, 29, called the authorities and reported that the car had been vandalized. Someone, the deputy's report began, had gone around the man's vehicle and scratched the sides, hood, and trunk. On the trunk lid, a vandal had carved a message into the paint, which, though cryptic and grammatically incorrect, seems to have gotten its point across. This what happened, it read. The deputy's report went on to say that he asked the man if he knew who might have written the words. A female, the man replied. The deputy asked him if he had someone in mind, and the man said he had posted on Facebook that he was getting married. The man said that one of his former girlfriends, he wasn't sure which one, must have gotten angry and taken it out on his car. Now from our dispatches files. In the wee hours of October 13th, the Bibb County Sheriff's deputy reported seeing the driver of a Chevy Impala get out and stagger into a Sherling Drive food mart to buy beer. That's over in East Macon. The man, 55, smelled of alcohol. When he was taken into custody on suspicion of DUI, he was, quote, belligerent and rude, an incident report noted. The man, charged with drunken driving, repeatedly complained that his blood pressure was up and he threatened to sue the police because he claimed the deputy's handcuffs were, quote, hurting my carpal tunnel. One day last month in Bibb Superior Court, prosecutors and defense attorneys convened as they regularly do to schedule trials and pleas. The whereabouts of a defendant in a child molestation case came into question. The defendant was supposed to be in court, but as it turned out, he was late because he was being released from prison that very day, after serving time for a parole violation. That's pretty tough, Judge Howard Sims said from the bench. Get out of prison, show up for another trial.